today I'm going to be making drop cloth curtains for these massive windows in the master bedroom. I've already hung the curtain rods and all I'm going to need in addition to those are scissors, uh, clip rings, I've got them in black to match the curtain rods. I have four packs of seven and I bought two nine by 12 drop cloths. So here we go. So first we're going to lay this out. So this is massive. It's nine by 12. I have washed it with a little bit of bleach. I didn't bleach it, uh, but to add a little bit of softness and hopefully lighten it up a little bit is what I was going for. I did not do the whole drop cloth bleaching process. My plan is to, there's a seam down the middle. My plan is to cut that out and have two panels. So I'm gonna cut a seam, cut down this middle seam. Uh, these edges on either side are raw. They're hemmed. Um, the, the short side is hemmed. So I'm actually going to go ahead and make that raw as well and have this be just a very rustic looking curtain. As you can see, there's a seam going down the very middle. A lot of drop cloths have this. I got such a big drop cloth. I got such a big drop cloth to accommodate for that. So this is, should be really simple. It's as easy as just taking your scissors side of the seam, my scissors <laughs> on this side of the seam, making a straight cut. Yo, I'm cutting it. And then, yep, yeah, just like that, we're going to rip it. Rip it. <laughs> and then, because that's sewn up in, I'm gonna do that again along this seam and then I'm gonna leave the bottom seam because I'm going to hang it to cut it where I want. So that's my plan anyway. Do the same along that top seam. I'm going to make just a little cut. There we go. Cut. Cut, cut, cut. And then So now we have one very long 12-ish foot panel. It's a uh, drop cloth, so none of them are perfect. And I want to do that really cute ruffle along the top. It's probably about a foot. We are ready to be. It's probably about a foot that I folded over um, to make that ruffle part. So I'm going to take and very carefully fold this in half so that I can place the first curtain ring there. I'm either going to go with five or seven. Um, so either way, it's an odd number. I'll do some. And I want the middle. I'm going to take, flip this right here. And then, what was it? So we folded this in half, so it's here. And then I'm gonna fold this in half, clip the end. Because this one in half in the middle, this to make three. And clip right here. And this will be. So it's definitely eyeball. Uh, but I've got like, I don't know, what is that? Maybe like every six -ish in inches or so, four to six inches, something like that. So for this one, definitely gonna need a clip right here because this is the middle there. So right under this one is getting a clip. This one is going to get a clip right here. Here. So if you fold them in half, you definitely don't have to 
measure. And I'm all about that, not measuring. So. I love making curtains with you too, Clara. of both at the same time. So one down, three to go. Oh, well, one to go for this. Sorry for the really crappy lighting. It's like 10 o'clock at night now. Kids are finally in bed. I can get back to it. So, window. I've got the curtain on up. I've got the curtain panels done. I'm going to put those up there and then we're gonna trim the bottom. So it's going to look like this on the top. So it's nice and frayed. Definitely very rustic. It looks kind of um oops. It looks kind of linen-y. I was always very curious about what do these things actually look like in person. And I have to tell you, I really like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. So, one curtain panel up, another to the other one. And I do have the frayage inside. Now, if I really wanted to do the fray on all sides, I could very easily just do the same ripping technique on the outside but I didn't want to lose more of the width so <laughs> I did that backwards so tip um I folded this not thinking and now the frays are not going to be on the same side so I have to refold like flip this one over and have the fray going the other way so that the fray can go inside. Just tip. Think about that. <laughs> you don't want to fold over. Think about that. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so flip that over. Threading these on. to be when they're open. Um, I'm trying to decide do I like the split thing. Am I gonna want like an all to one side thing? I don't know yet. It's really popular with some people. I don't like that. I'm not a fan because I actually live here and things get dusty and that's just gonna be a dog hair magnet. So we're gonna we're gonna trim this bad boy up. Okay. 